Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank hey. You very much. Good to be back. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, boy, there'll uh, there'll be some battles for positions this year in the back, won't there? Yeah, I think there will. I think uh, I think the the people we brought in are definitely um, upgrades. I think there's going to be some healthy competition. Um, I met the guys. I've watched them play. I think they're great. Um, so yeah, just excited about uh, what's going on in the back, and uh, hopefully we can make some progress over last year. And this is a situation too, Logan. At least from my eyes, that. It's not a situation where you're bringing in players necessarily that others have to worry about, so where do I fit? The reality is this is a team that needs experience, depth, because you're going to need the depth at some point in the season. So I know if I were in your position or Darren O'Dees or, or Richard Eckersley, if you came in the season, you say, okay, here's five guys for the back line. Uh, we, we need more than that. Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at the year last year, I think we, we need upgrades pretty much all over the field. Um, so I think uh, the back line is a good place to start with that, and I think that the people they brought in, um, it's not anything where I'm looking and saying, all right, I'm not going to play because we brought in Danny Califf. It's, it's just something that, you know, I, I, need to, I need to do all I can to learn and to improve and just be there for the team when they need me. So how long have you played goal, and uh, will you be Stefan Fry's back? No, <laughs> he just walked in, so I'm just kidding. This is having fun with you. What, uh, what's the off season been like? What have you been doing to uh, keep your, to get yourself both away from the game, but also uh, keep yourself in shape? Did you fix that shoulder? Uh, yeah, I got it fixed on uh, the first of November. Um, it was a little bit worse than we'd anticipated. So, uh, you know, my off season was pretty pretty low key. Um, started rehab, a little bit of running. So I'm, I'm still kind of getting back in the swing of things. But um, yeah, no handstands or anything like. That. Yeah, not quite yet, at least. <laughs> not there yet. No. Well, so when I first interviewed you last year, last year when you first signed the club, you said there will be absolutely nobody on the pitch that works harder than you. Now we're talking about the competition that's going to be in the back line. Do you think that's something that will carry you through? Um, you know, I don't know where it'll take me. I think that's been the case throughout anywhere I'm playing, but um, that's really all I can control. You know, um, when you look at guys like Danny Califf and Darren O'D, um, even guy that we brought in. Um, they're good players, you know, and so I'm going to have to absolutely work my hardest to get any minutes possible. Um, at the same time, you know, I, I look at them and I can learn, and so, yeah, again, working hard is really all I can control. You were played on the left side a little bit last season as well, and sometimes I'd come into the training ground early and I'd see you practicing free kicks with the left foot. Is it something that you've been working on? Um, just naturally, I'm, I think I, I'm more comfortable with center back, so if I'm, you know, I'll play wherever I can get minutes, um, wherever I can help the team. So um, there are things that, as a left back that I need to improve. Um, and I just want to be ready in case, you know, something that happens to Ash and um, anything like that, that I'll be ready to go. What's your sense of uh, Ryan so far and, and uh, you know, even other moves that have been made here, uh, and Kevin in and now Pat Onstad as well. Well, we'll start with Ryan, the coach, first. I'd like to ask eight part questions and see if you can remember it, even one of them, yeah. Um, no, I think he's, I think he's great. Um, he's a young guy, but he, he's got a lot of experience. Um, so I think he's going to kind of be able to relate to the players and, and know what we're going through just because, I mean, he's still a player. So, um, yeah, I mean, we met him. He's excited. He seems a little bit nervous, I think, um, just kind of getting the feel for everything. But I think it'll be great. Um, he's got a world of knowledge that we can we can pick his brain and, and learn a lot from him. So. As far as seeing a guy like Kevin come in, the moves, the direction that he's given the club here, stability is kind of one of the key phrases that uh, I know as a player that you need around you to be able to succeed here. And it appears that Kevin and the organization are, gonna, are going to bring that. Yeah, it's been exciting, um, even from home, just watching and seeing the moves you've been making. Um, it seems like he's really uh, laying kind of a foundation down um, so that we can all get on the same page. And he's kind of taking the reins, and, I, and we're all going to follow him. And I think that uh, everybody's pretty excited about the direction he's taking us in.